Quick one for you today. We're going to do an update on the heat pump versus AC uh, comparison we did between the Model Y and the Model 3. I did get a question about what would happen if you left the AC on in the Model Y for an hour in the hot sun to see how many uh, miles range you would lose as well as uh, the battery percentage and so we did that test yesterday it was 84 degrees um, so not as hot as it's been lately but it was fairly hot and ran the AC for a full hour before uh, turning it off So 84 degrees out today, sunny, and we've had the AC running at 70 degrees for almost an hour now. We're going to see how much energy is used to keep the car cool in the sun. And we found that the end result was it lost five 0.1 miles of rated range, uh, so right around 1.6% of battery was used to condition the car while we weren't in it and really didn't have any need to keep it cool for that long. What I have found is that if I do want my car to be cool, uh, if, I, if I run into the store real quick, I can leave it on. So as you get out of the car, you just hit keep on. For the AC and that works great um, but if it's going to be any t time longer than that I just go ahead and I just turn it on remotely uh, you know about 10 minutes before I'm going to get to the car because obviously you don't want to run it all day long if you were to run the AC all day long when you were not in the car and it was in the hot sun so let's say 10 hours like you're at work all day and you just leave it on for I don't know. I don't know why you would do that, but if you did, uh, you could lose, you know, maybe 16% of your battery, which would be pretty significant loss. I mean, for most commutes, that still leave you plenty of range, uh, but certainly there's no reason to use that. The only time I can think of needing to do something like that is if um, you had something in the car that you didn't want to melt or something like that. Obviously, there could be some use cases for things like that. For the most part, though, you don't really uh, need to run it all day, and especially not in the hot sun. It might be something you might use like camp mode for at uh, a campground, but you'd probably have it plugged in for that scenario. But if not, you're not going to be using that much energy on the AC overnight as compared to if the sun's beating down on it all day. So overall, it seemed like a pretty good test, and the results were pretty good. I didn't think that 1.6% uh, battery loss was that much, and it certainly uh, was a good test to find out in the Model Y. I did not try this in the Model 3, and it would not be a controlled test anyway because I didn't have the car at the same location at the same time. So maybe we'll do another comparison again for the AC versus heat pump in hot temperatures to see if it's uh, going to use more in the Model Y than the Model 3. But especially once it gets cooler, we're going to try out that test again to see the difference in heating efficiency because that's going to be the big difference. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.